not just the tech giants with deep pockets and massive data centers. They kicked things off by releasing their own AI model based on something called the Stanford Alpaca model. Then they created this user-friendly interface so regular people like you and me could use these powerful AI models without needing a PhD in computer science. Now, with version 3.0, they're taking it to a whole new level. The new design is all about simplicity and ease of use. You don't need to be an AI expert or a software engineer to use this. If you can use a smartphone, you can use GPT for all. It's that straightforward. Let's talk more about the improved local docs feature because it's really exciting. Imagine being able to chat with an AI about your own files, your documents, your notes, your data. You could ask it to summarize long reports, find specific information in a sea of documents, or even help you brainstorm ideas based on your existing notes. And remember, all of this happens on your own computer. Your information stays private, which is a big deal in today's world where data privacy is such a hot topic. The team at Nomic has put a lot of work into making local docs more powerful and user-friendly. They've revamped the local vector database. That's the technology that helps the AI understand and retrieve information from your documents. They're using the latest version of something called Nomic Embed Text, which is basically a super efficient way of turning text into a format that AI can understand and work with. But here's the thing. They're already working on more features to make local docs even better. They're constantly listening to user feedback and making improvements. It's clear that they're committed to this vision of making AI accessible and private for everyone. Now, while there are other user interfaces for language models, many of them are closed and proprietary. They don't put the same emphasis on privacy that GPT for All does. And a lot of them require a pretty deep understanding of AI technology to use effectively. GPT for All is trying to bridge that gap, making this powerful technology accessible to everyone. So if you're interested in AI, if you care about privacy, or if you just want to explore cutting edge technology, GPT for All 3.0 is definitely worth checking out. It's bringing the power of AI to your desktop in a way that's never been done before. You can experiment with different language models, chat with your own documents, and explore the possibilities of AI, all without worrying about your data being sent to some corporation's servers. It's totally free and open source, so you can use it, modify it, and even contribute to its development if you're so inclined. It's a great way to learn about AI technology and be part of a community that's shaping the future of accessible AI. And hey, if you do try it out, come back and let me know what you think in the comments. I'd love to hear about your experiences with GPT for all and how you're using it. Are you using it for work, for fun, for learning, etc.? All right, now, if you ever wished you could ask Google really complex questions and get a detailed step-by-step -step answer, well, that dream might be closer to reality than you think, but it's not Google making it happen. It's a company called Perplexity. 